Hey guys, before you watch this video, tell me what videos you want me to make. Today's orders all ready to go out tomorrow. Check this wide angle lens out. Woo! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The reselling white boy. Um, second video on the channel today. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you a few things I've picked up this week. Um, but first thing, everyone wash their hands. Yeah, sanitize. What are your thoughts on the virus? How is it going to affect your business? Leave a comment down below. Right, so first item is book. It's an Inventions Leonardo DiCaprio book. You can see it there. And it's like a pop-out book. It's like a pop-out book. Really interesting. Like that. So a lot of Leonardo DiCaprio's inventions in a pop-up book style. Um, really creative. A lot to learn. Quite detailed also. So I picked that up for a pound in the charity shop. A lot of these are charity shop pickups with my boot sale being cancelled this week. Um, so yeah, got that up for just over 20, I think 25, something like that. I've got a few watches on that. So good first one. Next up, we have a bookshelf Cluedo game. So perfect for your bookshelf, just slides in nice. Um, quite a collectible one, maybe not the most collectible. But if you take this off a little bit, you can just see. But got normal game pieces, uh, so nothing special with like metal ones or anything like that. But it's a really nice set. I think got it up for mid 20s, got a watch or two on that too. And that was a couple of pounds in the charity shop. But it's a really nice piece for someone's house, really. Quite an attractive board game. Next up, got the original Yahtzee. I think that's how you say it. The best selling dice game in the world. Uh, it's brand new and sealed from 97, I believe. Uh, 94, by the looks of it. We've got it up for 21. Uh, I've got a watcher on that. So that's nice. Nice to see it sealed. Quite an old one, over 20 years old. So that should be a pretty fast seller, as there's not many sealed ones on there. Next up, Spy Door, Spy Gate Door Alarm. So it's new and sealed. Um, it's not sp uh, It's not spy net. Because I did have the Spynet goggles, uh, the night vision goggles. I got like 50, 60 for those. But I think it's a similar brand, if it's not the same. But it's just a simple door alarm thing. Quite a creative toy uh, for your children. Uh, if you want to be the next James Bond, really. But brand new and sealed. There's none on eBay at the minute. I've looked on like the last year sold. A couple in America. I've got it up for 53 or something like that. Uh, punching high with that because there's no more on there. But a lot of the spy stuff is highly, you know, regarded. You know, it's not fast selling, but people pay up. Next one, we've got PlayStation 1 Namco Arcade Stick. Um, this came in a bundle from a charity shop with a PlayStation 2, because it does work on the PlayStation 2 as well. Um, the whole bundle cost me 25 with some buzz controllers and this, a PS2, a couple of games. I've sold the PS2 and the bus controls for 45, so this is straight profit now. Um, but as you can see, it's in really nice condition. Whoop, need to go this way. Um, so it's a Namco joystick from 96. You see that? Maybe you can't. Nope. But yeah, really nice that one. Got that up for just over 60. Um, got about nine watches on that, so that's really highly, uh, highly sought after. That should go in the next week or two. Well, that's straight profit now, so no worries there. Next one, a bit of retail arbitrage with this one, if, that how you, if that's how you say it anyway. Um, so it's the Toy Story 4 Space Alien, and um, there's three to collect. So I've got one of each, there was only one of each left. Um, they cost me £4.25 each. Um, I've got them up for 31 I think, for the three. Um, so after your fees and stuff, probably about £15 profit. Um, but yeah, just an interesting pick up in the supermarket really. Next one, we've got a DVD recorder. Um, this was £6. Back to, I'm not cleaning it up yet, but you see there. £6, no remote. Uh, so it's a PYE video recorder, or PRV should I say. Uh, it's quite a tricky logo to read. But there's one up. When I last checked a few days ago, 
I sold for about 50, 60 quid. Um, just have to clean it up, give it a test. With no remote, I'll aim a little bit lower. But it's quite a nice, quite a nice system. Looks like it'll clean up well. So yeah, look out for that brand if you can uh, see it there. See if it uh, can focus for you. Maybe not, but it is PRV. PRV six four five DVD recorder. Okay, let me just pop this down. Okay, next one, simple 150p charity shop. Uh, it's just a Sony PS2 DVD remote. Nice and easy. I saw him making a lot of remote um, sales on his turning bit of, bit of rubbish into quite a bit of money, actually. You know, just old used remotes. Test them nice and easy at the camera. Um, probably get about six, seven pound with this, but a large layer, quick and easy. Just a quick, quick sale. Should be good. Next one, we have a PlayStation case. It is made by Kankar. So I don't know if you can see that through the uh, plastic. It's quite a hard one to see. Kankar. Brand new and sealed. Not know if it's a PS2 case or a, not sure. I did see one up. Like a little carry case. Like that. Um, I did see one up. About £15. It says Kankar. External Acular PlayStation Classic. Oh, it might be PlayStation Classic, is that what? I think it is, isn't it? So it might be for that. But I'll be able to get 15 or whatnot for that. I think that was 3 99 So not a massive profit, but keeps things ticking. Next one. WP Stafford Herb Day Manufacturer Denton. So it's a piece of pottery. Quite a large piece. Quite nice condition. And it's got that 1908. Um, I did look the Herb Day manufacturer up with Stafford. The one with a different year. I sold for about £30. Uh, it did have a little lid on the top. So that might bring me down a little bit. But for £2.49 uh, from the charity shop. It's, it's a no-brainer. Um, I'll just do a bit more research. See if it's any rarer. It's a little bit older than the other one that was up. So I'll just see what happens with that. But. Trying to get into more antiques and older stuff. I've got a bit of silver that I need to go through upstairs. Right, the next one. We have got some men's Kurt Geiger shoes. Really shiny. Nice condition. And I knew Kurt Geiger is a decent brand because I, I paid up on a pair for myself about £100 a couple of years ago. So they're pretty sought after. Not the best brand in the world, but you know they are a high value brand. Um, you can see that in, in the shoe, KG. Um, got a lot of wear left on the bottom, so they're in nice condition. And they were six pound fifty, size eleven. So I'll probably aim, aim high with those. And always bring it down. You'd never want to undersell anything. So we'll just see how they go. Just getting into selling a bit more shoes and whatnot. Trying to broaden my horizons with my pickups. Next one. It's got a British Army bag, field pack. Brand new. Um, it is a military grade one. So I was quite interested. You know, it's something that I probably would use myself. It's quite quite nice actually. That was $4.99 um, from the charity shop. Quite a neat, unique thing. I did see it on like one of the military websites. I think it was like 20 odd. So we'll just see how that goes with this. But it's a really nice little field pack. Not massive. Goes over your shoulder. Like that. Like so. So it's quite nice. Nice camouflage. Brand new condition. We'll just see how we get on with that. Next one. Um, you would have seen in my previous video. I've got a bid on a Hi-Fi. It is just up there. I'm going to just shoot it up. So it's this one here. Whoop. Ignore the pop vinyls. Where are we going with this? That one. <laughs> so that one's got a £99 bid on it at the moment. Um, but I bought two at the same jumble sale. So we got that one, which was really perfect. Not perfect condition, but it was working. Uh, that's a Rotel one. And then we bought an Akai one, A-K-A-I, um, which was working a little bit, but it was not working in some parts as well. So instead of selling it as... 
to you know not work in spares repairs what i've done is i've taken the little dials off don't know if that's going to focus but yeah really nice condition the dials um so if anyone needs a replacement dial they can literally go in my shop grab one of these i've got four available i've got a watcher on them at 11.99 so i've got four of those um paid 17 for each so 17 for that 17 for the other i might just might throw the other one because I've taken these off, there's nothing really worth. Well, you might get better on Facebook or whatnot, but that will return more than what uh, the value. With that, getting 100 pound back anyway, we're well in profit with that. Next one's a Facebook pickup, an Acer V6 Series 20, 21 and a half inch uh, monitor. Keep going the wrong way, this camera. But um, yeah, nice condition, brand new. All sealed up. Bought three of those for a hundred, uh, so I paid up on them. But because they're brand new, pretty easy sale. Um, I think on Amazon they're about 75, 80. I'll shoot on eBay 70 or something like that. So after all free sale, it'll be about 240. But your postage, your fees and stuff, still about 80, 90 quid to be made. Um, so you paid up, but you know you're gonna get your money back. And then some. Next one. This was a car for you to pick up from last week. Um, Warhammer Castle. Like that. It's got a few scuffs on it, a few marks. Like that, it's been sat in someone's shed. Uh, it's not been painted yet, but I do believe that it's supposed to be painted. So I need to test it out. I'll try and build it. See if I can get it all working all together. Get a nice few pictures. But it's got a few bits with it. You know ladders and all that so i'm guessing it's all there she said it was don't know if that's part of it maybe not maybe it is but i'll have a good look into that in the future uh, i paid a tenner for that i've seen quite a few online 50 60 i don't think it's the exact same one but there's definitely money to be made in that it's just a bit of a job cleaning it up and whatnot similar to lego when you're um, fiddling about getting rid of the mega blocks and whatnot but it should return quite a bit Next one, charity shop pickup. It is an answering machine, so it's a BT Response 75 uh, answering machine. When I saw it, I thought it does look nice, in good condition. Uh, it's got all the wires and whatnot. Nice condition, tested and working. Six pound in the charity shop. But I didn't think many people would have used for them anymore. Um, but actually, they're selling for 40 plus. So that's a really nice pickup. Um, Pretty easy, you know, one for the easy pictures. Nice, easy flip. Uh, just got that up for just over 40, I think. But they're selling quite frequently, which is good. Next one, we've got a Reebok, like a vintage Reebok track jacket. Green. Nice condition for its age. Um, there it is. Nice vintage one. Probably from the 90s, early 2000s. Um, it's in really nice nick. It's in a size extra small, so it wouldn't fit me, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, really nice. Be able to get 20 plus for that. I think that was three quid in the charity shop, so probably aim higher than that, to be honest. Might throw it on Depop. Uh, it's always an option with the fashion. And um, right, these next ones are all from the same shop. Um, I'm a big Manchester City fan myself, so it was a nice pickup. So these were ten pounds each. So. These are from the early 2000s, and there's might be one or two late 90s, 99, 2000 kind of thing. Really nice condition. All double XL. So got that one. We have got the exact same shirt, but different sponsor. So we actually used the IDOS one. I think that's how you say it. For a year or two, changed our sponsor. First advice, and then we got the same exact kit. How Tim Pot is that? Okay. How times has changed. So we've got exactly the same kit, just with this different sponsor for a different year. Um, I think the blue, exactly the same as well. Next one, got the red and black striped away kit. So again, ten pounds for this. This is in really nice condition. Um, really nice one. I want this one for myself. If I can get it in a medium, but I don't want to pay up the prices that I'm going to be selling them for. Um, so really nice condition. Reebok won this one. As you can see with the label, to do it, it's 15, 16 years old, not much wear at all. Don't even look like it's been washed much because there's literally no fade in at all. 
Uh, so that's a really nice one. I do like my red and black kits. Next one is the 2008 kit. So the year we signed Rubinho. Thomas Cook sponsor, the Cox Sportif, but this one has got Wright Phillips on the back, number eight. Really nice condition, no wear at all on that one. Double XL again. As you can see, no wear to the, the tag at all. No scuffs on the writing on the back. Literally perfect condition. So I'm aiming high with these, not going to be quick sellers. Don't make any jokes about um, quick sellers because we don't have any fans. Don't want to see any jokes like that. Sorry, my screen went off though up there. Um, next one, purple one. Got this one actually myself. I think you can see it. I don't know if it's in there somewhere. Um, double XL again. The Cox Sportif. Nice condition again. It's actually got um, some material that's been stamped on there with that. You see it's not worn away at all. It's not a print. It's like a material stamp kind of thing. Same with the... Uh, the lettering but really nice condition the one i've got it's actually a little bit worse condition kind of want it for myself but they literally look like bed sheets on me next one got another old blue one it's another idos one like the sean the sean go to era there's your label look at sport teeth again double xl really nice condition i think this one has got a couple of poles on it this is the only one that's really not perfect. A couple of pulls. That purple one was £8, by the way. It's a little bit cheaper. Still get good money from them. 30s, 40s, I'm looking for most of them. With them being big sizes. Next one was a bit of a fail. It was two ninety nine. David Silva, Spain one. Uh, from a certain game. Campeones del Mundo, Sudafrica, 2010. So it was two ninety nine. I thought, bloody hell, that's a steal. But it is not an official one. The official one's Adidas sponsoring. With it being David Silver on the back, I can sell it as. Uh, it's, an, it's not an official shirt. I can still pro probably get a bit of money for it. 12 to £15. Because it is a nice shirt in nice condition. Um, and some people aren't bothered, are they? But I'm not going to sell it as a genuine product. But with the lettering on it, it might cause a little bit of um, people to want it. Because if you wanted a proper one with David Silver on, I'm sure it'd be a lot more. Next one, San Antonio Spurs. Um, it's like a baseball jersey, even though they're uh, a basketball team. It's like a baby baseball jersey. It's a little, quite a bit of wear to it, but it's quite hard to find online. It's a little bit of um, bubbling around here, but it is a really nice shirt. Should be able to get some good money for that. I think that was three ninety nine. All the same shop. Right, so that's all done with the shirts. Last couple of bits now. Facebook pickup. Got some Disney teddies. So we got Hank. Hank the Octopus off Finding Dory. So he's been stamped. Brand new condition pretty much. Off a young couple. Really nice. Got that out for 21 I think. Got a couple of watches on that. Got a Jack Skellington. Scary man. So really big. It's like a doll. Uh, you can move them in any position you want. Yeah, really nice condition. Really scary, actually. Uh, if I can get him in the shop. So, yeah, I paid £15 for a lot of five soft toys off this girl. Uh, so I got him up for 25 Got a watcher. Hank's got a watcher. I got a Lotso Hugging Bear. Um, I got something. What else did I get? It was like a little chameleon thing and something else. Uh, and a Toy Story Alien. So yeah, 15 quid. Um, Hank will pay it back and then the profits are all there then. So that was a good pick up, not too far. Um, that's everything really. I just thought I'd pick out a few exciting things. I didn't want to get any boring media, media out or whatnot. Um, just, just showing the variety of pickups that I do pick up and what else, you know, what you can expect me to pick up in the future. So if you've enjoyed the video today, um, please make sure you subscribe and um, like the video if you can do. Uh, it really does help me out. I'm looking to really getting some good videos out in the future. Can you leave a comment on what content you would like to see? Because I'm open to doing a lot. I want to give some creative freedom to the people that are watching. I don't want to just throw something down your throats kind of thing. So whatever you want to see, let me know in the comments. 
Uh, we'll go over to the next segment where I'll just leave a little recommendation to what I watch on YouTube. Okay, and welcome to the last part of the video where I just put you onto someone that I watch. Uh, it's not reselling related, it's just a little thing at the end where just open your horizons to something else. Um, so when I'm packaging items, I'll tend to put these kind of YouTubers on. Um, just listen in the background normally. But this time it's Joe Rogan. So many, many of you might have heard of Joe Rogan. He is a comedian. He commentates the UFC and he's got his own po podcast. Uh, so I've just sorted it by popular podcast to show some of the names he does get on there. But all the conversations are really interesting. And it does get you thinking while you're, you know, you're doing your stuff at home. So we've got Elon Musk. Dan Bilzerian, Bernie Sanders, Neil deGrasse Tyson, really good ones, Mike Tyson, uh, Eddie Bravo's really funny, Robert Downey Jr., Kevin Hart, Steve-O, the list goes on and on and on, really, really is um, an exciting YouTuber to watch, uh, so that's everything, I'll see you next time.